Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another Grounded Update video where today we're hopping into the fourth update that the developers have put out for Public Test Server 10.0 since they released the Public Test Server and this is absolutely crazy. Now I know this update is not as big as some of the other ones that they have released. I mean if you guys check out some of these other updates that they've put out for 10.0, they're pretty big. But this one's just kind of a little baby one but that doesn't mean it's not nearly as important. But what I do want to point out is that their updating schedule is is insane they are doing everything in their power to get this update ready for the public when they release it on June 30th so if you guys are not playing in the public test server and you guys would like to join you guys can either go on to Steam right click on your game go to uh, properties go to betas and then select public test server and your game will automatically update for you or you need to download the Xbox Insider app for Microsoft on the computer or on your Xbox and install the public test server there and you guys will be able to test it out now I would suggest if you guys are testing testing out anything in the public test server and you guys do find a bug, please let the gr grounded developers know. They really do need the help, but we have a short video for you guys today. So thank you everybody so much. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe on the video, but let's hop in. Let's talk about what they've updated. So restoring a client uh, that was saved while dead will no longer crash the game. So in other words, if you died and then you came back to, you saved the game and quit and you came back later on, you tried to load your game, it would crash every time you'd have to revert back to an older save before you died that way you didn't lose your progress in the game and stop crashing that has now been fixed so you'll be able to jump back in not a problem there next thing here restoring a client that has progressed any achievement stats will no longer crash the game so if you were busy there working on your perfect block in order to get your achievement and all of a sudden well guess what there was a crash and they fixed it why because these developers are awesome all right this next one i'm super excited about because i made a video on the crossbow and we're going to check this out in just a second because i want to look at it and see what the the difference is on the crossbow but the crossbow does slightly more damage and stuns which is great it's up their damage up the stun both of those are awesome things that they added on and i'm super excited about them because like i had said it was technically the third tier of bow and it wasn't all of that like worth it for the longer reload time now in real life crossbows compared to bows they may take longer to load but they are way more deadly compared to your standard bow um but now they're making it a little bit more realistic which i like making it so the crossbow does slightly more damage and stun the respawn point icon will no longer uh, be a blank square on existing saves i noticed this earlier today i logged into an existing save and my respawn icon on my lean to was just a tiny little square and i was like what the heck is that okay whatever and all i had to do is just go in and reset my respawn point and then it popped up as a little ghost like it's supposed to um but they went ahead and fixed that already so Woohoo! We got that fixed now that won't happen anymore and the respawn points will no longer crash the game in the map screen Which is absolutely fantastic now What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop into ground really quick so we could check out the crow crossbow and check out with the damage upgrade and the stun upgrade that they did Taken forever to load This is what happens when they update sometimes it takes forever the video is cool I probably should take this out probably won't just because it's kind of funny sweet current loaded okay so here we are back inside of the game here we're looking at the crow crossbow and we see that the damage is up higher wow that is actually quite the significant jump and the stun is up higher the speed's still lower what i'm going to do is i'm just going to go ahead and craft up a bunch of arrows here really quick um and we are going to go in and the only way that i know that we should be testing out a crow crossbow is definitely against a brood mother and i know that i am on survival with bugs right now so it's kind of lame but i do want to see what the damage is going to look like um so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come over here check out those statuses i'm just going to toss on uh let's toss on coup de grass that way uh we could get that guy going we're going to get rid of these ones goodbye 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 coup de grass we're going to get ourselves our art or Where's our archer perk? There it is, the sharpshooter perk. That's wonderful. And we are going to get the cardio fan perk. Perfect. All right. 
now that we have all of those upgraded now we are going to come over here and we are going to do something that i told people never to do and we're going to make a marksman cap and i'm going to put all of this on uh just making it so we are just doing even th that's not a weapon there sim there we go all right perfect all right, I think that we're ready. We have 43 crow arrows, so I think we have everything we need in order to fight a brood mother. What do you guys think? All right, so I'm just going to go in. I'm going to test out the damage that this thing can do um, just with uh, shooting the brood mother. I actually have three crossbows on me. I didn't actually need to create one. That's kind of silly of me. But let's run in here anyway. We're going to shoot up the brood mother, and we are going to see how much damage that this new and upgraded version of the crow crossbow can do because I do love me some upgrades. So obviously, we know oh come on let's uh let's go into first person here oh that's not too bad at all oh i know that's that's actually pretty good you can't hurt me oh that would have hurt me you can't hurt me i'm on i'm on uh, creative with bugs you can't hurt me <laughs> this the the speed of shooting still it's it's actually not that terrible if i'm being honest it's actually not that bad i wish it was better but it's actually not that bad and i could get used to shooting with this the reload speed is making it so it's it's still it's not too bad i need to pick up some of my arrows Oh, I have these are regular arrows even. I wasn't even using crow arrows. Here, let's let's use some of these. Let's let's use some crow arrows, shall we? And see what those do. L crow arrows. There we go. Alright, how much damage are we doing against you now there, brood mother? Oh, alrighty. Now that is what I'm talking about. I didn't even realize I was using my regular arrows there for a minute. This is actually way better. Definitely worth the reload time at this point. Talk about a new awesome weapon. I think that with all together, with the new stun and the more damage that they added and using crow arrows, you can actually get pretty oop, deadly with this thing as long as you are, jeez, that's scary up close. Yeah, that is freaky in first person. In third person, she's not as bad when she's attacking you. But in first person, man, that's that's some creepy stuff. But all jokes aside, this really does take a lot of arrows to take her down. And I'm on creative with bugs, so I'm assuming that she probably takes about as much damage as she does on easy mode. Which means she really doesn't take that much damage to take out. I feel like that using the mint mace is still a better option. If you're looking for quick burn damage but still this isn't too bad and we'll go through and we'll just finish her off here really quick yeah that's not too bad especially being like you go through and pick up all your arrows right and now that they added the perk that you don't even need to actually pick them up you just walk over them and you'll pick them up yourself which is pretty cool this has become more of a deadly weapon and i really do enjoy the crow crossbow now actually now that they made the changes to the the damage output and uh giving it a little bit of stun as well now i know i didn't stun the brood mother uh with it and i doubt you'll ever stun the brood mother with the crow crossbow but the other things in the yard you died them stunning so that really does make a pretty big difference but thank you everybody so much for watching this video like i asked you earlier please like comment and subscribe to make sure you guys don't miss any grounded update videos and the likes really do help the channel so i appreciate you guys for doing that hope you guys enjoyed this one and as always I'll see all of you guys in the next one.